Twitch streamers, Sandalots has just had a massive update. Look at this. Ta-da, the library has changed. We're talking a whole new layout, updated categories and filters, improved UI to make finding sounds easier, and more importantly, video compatibility. That's right, this library here is all videos for your stream. Before Soundalerts had a massive library of free sounds for you to use. Now Soundalerts also offers a huge library of videos for you to use on your stream too. From your Soundalerts dashboard, select library and click on video here in the filters and this is it. All of these videos are free for you to use on your stream. By the way, although the media library is a community library, at the end of the day, you are responsible for the media that you show on your stream. This filter feature on the left allows you to search for particular lengths, themes or tags, such as animals and memes, and also the vibe or mood of the videos, such as happy and scared as well as finding a video for a specific Twitch event, such as a new follower or new subscriber. Popular for follows, popular for subs. You can also create your own video by selecting Create. Either drag and drop your video here to upload it straight to Sound Alerts and select to convert mode. So this one would be audio and video because I want the video as well as the audio. Then follow the prompts or convert your Twitch or YouTube clip here. Paste any URL from a Twitch clip, YouTube video or YouTube short or a TikTok video to convert the content into a video for your stream. For example, I'm always going to add a Lord of the Rings thing into my stream. I really like the second breakfast line. So copy and paste this URL, pop it here and select convert. And if there's a video that you want to show, be sure to select audio and video. And then you can also trim the clip here and play it as you trim to get the exact part. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? Perfect. Select next. Title your video and select the mood. I'm going to select... I'm going to select funny. And then the tag, movies and TV. The reason that we're titling the video clip that you have made and adding tags, it's so other sound alert users can find your video and use it as well. That's how this library can continue to grow and how you can keep finding different videos to use for your stream. I don't mind if other people use this clip that I've added to the sound alerts library on their stream. So I'll keep this unticked. If you have created a particular video alert that you don't want anyone else using, you would click make this file private now upload there we go media uploaded now if i close this and browse for the clip i just made there it is in the sound alerts library you can also select my uploads to easily access this video too by the way these video alerts are also compatible with channel points and extension and there you go in the past i've created other sounds too once you've connected your new sound alerts video to an alert, such as a new follower alert, this is what the alert looks like on stream. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? In hindsight, this is an incredibly random video alert to have for a new follower, but you get the point. <laughs> With this whole new library of videos for you to use, you can play around and experiment with different sounds and alerts for your own Twitch stream. Let me know if you have any questions at all or if you wanna see any specific tutorials in the future. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos.